Hello everyone, this is Samiran Mehti, Senior Lecturer in Computer Engineering Department from Praveen Patil Polytechnic. Today, we will discuss practical number 7. The title for the same is Email Server Configuration Using Cisco Packet Tracer. And they have asked us to use this configuration or to implement this configuration using any tool. And the tool we will use for the same is Cisco Packet Tracer. But before going to the implementation aspect, let us focus on the theory part. What does or what is the task of email server? So, an email server is a computer system that sends and receives email. Right? In order for a computer system to function as a mail server, it must include mail server software. This software allows the system administrator to create and manage email accounts for any domains hosted on the server. For example, if the server hosts the domain name as techterms.com, it can provide email accounts ending with at the rate techterms.com. Now, this aspect will be covered exhaustively in the upcoming configuration and mail servers send and receive email using standard email protocols. For example, the simple mail transfer protocol sends messages and handles outgoing mail requests. So, outgoing of mails is mean managed by simple mail transfer protocol. The IMAP that is Internet Mail Access Protocol and Post Office Protocol version 3 receives messages and are used to process incoming mail. So, outgoing was managed by SMTP and incoming is managed by IMAP and POP3. When you log on to a mail server using a web mail interface or email client, these protocols handles all the connections behind the scenes. So, what, what they are trying to convey is whenever we are logging in with for example, gmail.com or uh, you know, ymail.com, so, such protocols that is SMTP, POP and IMAP, such protocols work behind the scenes, right? So, this was it regarding the theoretical aspect of email servers. Now, let us focus on the configuration aspect of email server. So, for that we will require a Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, for example, uh, let there be one sender and one receiver. Now, these senders and receivers will be connected via a switch fine and this switch in turn will connect itself to a server that will work as a email server fine so let's connect these devices so from pc to switch from pc1 to switch and finally, from switch to mail server, right? So, let us label it first. Let the IP address of this device be 192.168.1.2. The IP address of this device, let it be 192.168.1.3. And accordingly, since these two devices are clients for this server, so the IP addresses should match that is it should be 192.168.1.3 sorry 1.1 right <clears throat> so we have successfully labeled the devices using ip addresses now we will assign ip addresses to it so for that we need to go to this pc and uh, desktop and ip will be set as 192.168.1.2 no default gateway will be assigned because there is no routers in this connection, fine. Right? So, 1.2 has been assigned. Now, similar fashion 1.3 will be assigned. 1.3 will be assigned. And accordingly, subnet mask will be as it is, fine. Right? And here also 1.1 will be assigned. 1.1 will be assigned. 1.1 will be assigned submit mask as it is fine 
now we need to access the services of this server so go to services we are trying to access this server as a email server so go to email and on smtp as well as pop3 now this domain and email names they were talking about i mean the theoretical aspect focused on domain names and based on those domain names emails could be created so for example if the domain name is example.com example.com right and user let the user be user1 and the password will be 123 or any of your choice set and this one uh, let the next user be that is sender is user1 and receiver is user2 let it be user2 and password it can be of your choice let it be again 123 right so we have set this passwords <coughs> excuse me uh okay cancel fine uh, let us check once again whether we have successfully yes we have done successfully fine uh, then uh, come to this one and now you are supposed to go to email right so this was of pc 0 so its name was user 1 an email address is user1 at the rate example.com right email server 192.168.1.1 right uh, let's copy this right outgoing also same username is user1 and password is 123 save it right close this come to pc1 and similarly we should go for email and its name is user2 its email address will be user2 at the rate example.com mail server is same this is the mail server if you remember this is the mail server and outgoing also same and username for pc1 is user2 and password for pc1 is 123 save it right <clears throat> now let's try to implement uh, this configuration aspect so let's compose a mail so go to compose fine so this is happening with this pc right so this pc need to send a message to this pc or a mail to this pc so we are trying to send a mail to user one at the rate example.com right user one at the rate example.com and subject uh, we are testing it whether we have successfully configured or not so let's say hi to user one send now let us check in the pc0 whether it has received or not <coughs> to go to email and uh, not the matter okay so here and we need to check receive yes we have indeed got a message from user2 at example.com subject is testing let us check what uh, they have sent okay yes hi to user1 they have sent pc1 has sent a mail stating hi to user word now we'll reply to saying hello to user 2 hello to user 2 and uh, sorry hello to user 2 fine and send now we need to check whether <coughs> pc1 has got the reply or not receive let us check yes hello to user2 has been received by pc1 or user2 so in this way we have successfully configured email server using cisco packet tracer i'll soon upload the remaining practicals as well as remaining chapters thank you for watching the video take care bye